Hello and welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Josh from the Freedom Theory and today I'm reviewing the New Air 10100E Portable Air Conditioner. Stay tuned. Now a portable air conditioner might seem like an unusual cooling solution for an RV and I admit that it is a little bit outside of the box but we've had a problem with heat in this RV ever since we moved into it last year. It's a rear living model and we have windows just all around the back of the RV and the main living area and they all act as little heaters. When the sun hits them they just get hot 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 hot. So this spring we were in the south and the inside of our RV was breaking 80 degrees which was just unsustainable. That's not something that we could do. Our son who's a newborn baby, he's four months old now, he definitely could not do it. He hated the heat. So we talked to an RV technician and they said that they could install a second AC but that they would have to drop an extension cord out from under the RV and then we would have to plug that into the power pedestal. We really didn't want to be going that route but it seemed like the only option that we would have. This model is a 10,000 BTU model. It cools up to 325 square feet and it only takes 10 amps or a little bit over a thousand watts to run. So it's very power efficient. In our 30 amp rig we're able to run both the main AC and the portable AC and then one other appliance at the same time without having to worry about bringing extension cords in and out of the RV and things like that. In the past when we were in sticks and bricks we've had portable air conditioners. They were all very big and very bulky and also you had to drain them constantly. The drain was just meant to be open and just draining into a pan or a bowl and there was more than one incident of me stepping out of bed at night and stepping on that bowl or that pan and getting water <laughs> all over the place <laughs> you keep your laughter in there that's funny <laughs> go ahead and keep filming oh, okay <laughs> my videographer is laughing right now because yes, i remember those moments she remembers those moments oh, okay. water everywhere anyway moving on we don't have to do this one because it has a water reservoir built inside of it and it will let you know when it's full and then you just drain it. We also like how compact it is. It's only 50 pounds and it's 30 inches tall. Because it has a dehumidifier function like all ACs do, we just got rid of the dehumidifier that we had and we put the air conditioner in its spot. We also like some of the features that it has such as a remote. It has the ability to do sleep timers. You can set timers for how long you want it to cool. You can obviously set the temperature so it'll kick on and off at separate temperatures. Now if you're wondering if this works, it absolutely does. The first day that we got it, we were in Santa Fe, New Mexico. The temperature was hot. It was about 90 degrees outside and the interior temperature in the RV was 77 degrees in the main room and in the bedroom it was 81 degrees. So we set this unit up. The install was very easy turned it on and in an hour later I checked the temperatures and it had dropped five degrees in the main room. We also find that it's very nice for cooling the back room because we can just roll it out a little bit, point it towards the back room and it cools it off nicely. The fan is very very strong. So we love this unit. Transporting it's very easy. We just take it out of the window where it's venting just lay it down. This section of the RV doesn't bounce much. This unit can be run easily off a 2000 watt generator. We actually have two 2000 watt Honda generators that are run in parallel so we can power the whole RV including the main air conditioner. But what happens a lot is we'll be traveling through an area that's really hot. We usually try to travel when Landon's napping and then when he wakes up we'll just come into the RV and take a little break and play with him. Well, it was hard to do that when it would be 90 degrees inside the RV and we knew that our main air conditioner just could not cool it in a reasonable amount of time. So with this unit, I can just turn on a single generator, plug in the RV, fire up this, and within a few minutes the main room will be cool enough for us to have Landon out and playing with him. And then if we want to run both air conditioners, we can do that off both of our generators if I power them both on. So that's something that we really like about this unit. It's just so easy to set up and take down when we're mobile and using it while we travel. Another feature that we absolutely love is that it has an air purifier built in. It actually uses a carbon filter. You can just pull that filter out, rinse it off in the sink, 
dry it and put it back in. It does a really good job of purifying the air and that's something that's really important to us, especially since we both have allergies. We also love how easy it is to move around. The ventilation hose is pretty long, so if we wanna pull it out of where it is and point it maybe towards the back of the RV, back up into the bedroom, or just point it more into the main room. We can easily do that without lifting it. We would also like to thank New Air for sending us this unit to test and review. If you'd like to purchase it, the link is down below. You can also go to thefreedomtheory.com slash newair. That's thefreedomtheory.com slash N-E-W-A-I-R. And you can find the link there as well as some of the specifications that we've gone over in this video. Don't forget to use the discount code COOLSUMMER all one word, cool summer, to get 20% off. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, please also leave a thumbs up because positive encouragement goes a long way. So just give it a thumbs up altogether. We'd also love to hear from you. If you have other products that you would like to see reviewed or just any comments in general, please leave them in the comments below. We love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and until next time, we'll see you on the road.